welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all around my school cupboard because this has actually been a really requested video and I've actually wanted to show you guys my cupboard for like ages and ages since the, since I've given it all a clean out and made this just my school cupboard because there used to be like books in here as well. Uh, but now it's just got everything dedicated to obviously exams and school and that which is great um if you do enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't already leave a comment as well and yes yeah, leave some video requests in the comments below of what you'd like to see i really would like to get pre-filming again like i was last year but yeah so by the way let me just say i am actually stood on my bed for this video and my tripod is on the tallest it can go on top of my chair like like my ceilings there so yeah hope you enjoy and let's get started so guys i've just angled my phone up a little bit just so you'll be able to see the cupboard better but now i'm on my like tippy toes because like yeah this is a great angle guys oh my god i hit my uh light um great angles with chloe so this is my cupboard it's basically i'm pretty sure you guys would have seen my room tour if you're you know if you've been here for a while you would have seen that um i don't know if i included these on there but if i did the it's all changed now so don't go by that this this shot looks really weird but yeah so when i open my cupboards you will see this trying not to hit myself um so this is an overview of my two cupboards <laughs> there you go i swear i like honestly right so this is what you see when uh you look into my cupboards i think i'm gonna start with this side first just because it's easier and i can zoom in and get the angles right <laughs> which is great so when you first look into my cupboard the first thing here is a pile of messy things books and just textbooks and school books and things that's because this pile of stuff is pretty much a bit of everything um so you know like when you go to school i have to sometimes take textbooks sometimes i have to take my writing books my revision guides books and things like that um obviously i'm not doing Macbeth at the minute i did that in year nine um but i've got that there in case i want to revise for it because i really need to teach myself the whole of that uh, hey ho um but yeah so say if i had an english english that day i would then it's not it's that word again english i can't say the word english all right i'm giving you guys a special shout out because they say i can't say english english anyway yeah so if i have english that day i'll take my english um my english book my inspectacles revision guide and my inspectacles book and we finished reading that the other day which is great um then if i had music i have some terminology flashcards if you'd like to know how to uh how i make my flashcards leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that video um yeah so we'll leave that at that and uh, then i've got a book about college because that's one of the colleges colleges i may go to you never know i don't know what i'm gonna do yet because like i've got like a year but hey ho and then i've got this um wallet here this is what we're currently studying in music um it's music for a while by henry purcell um it's just got all my notes that i've made in class which i like to take forwards and backwards to class because i used to take a massive folder with me to class and honestly i had to carry it all day and literally i hated it because it's so big um yeah i'm really sorry about this angle literally all you can see is my little head um Going down, I have my history book because I was writing my essay the other day, plus I have to take that into class. I have my, I think this is the essay I actually wrote. This is the first ever essay I've ever written. Um, yeah, great. <laughs> great. Uh, then we have, um, what book is that? Oh, my independent, like, revision for English. Like, we have to do that now. Um, and then I have... A poster I need to put up on the wall. This is like things I have to do as well. Then I've got a revision guide for English. I'll show you that, but it's got my school on it. Great. I could do that in a English specified video. Um, I'm going to be doing a load of those, uh, especially over the summer. Um, when I have a lot of lot more time, so I'm going to do a video for pretty much every single subject and the way that I revise them, um, and the way that I have my notes down for all of them and my opinions on them and what I'm doing to help myself with that subject, pretty much. And then I've got my drama DNA book uh, revision guide. Okay, um, so that's just like my little pile here that I have of like things that I will need during the week. So over here, I have a load of cool things. Oh God, and they're all gonna start falling. This is my record of achievement book. Me, uh, My mum bought me and my sister one of these and they basically got our like 
best certificates in them so I've got like cadet certificates and like important certificates like BTEC and things like that oh that was really that was really loud um so I've got that I've um, just got some plain paper and a wallet because why not um I've got this um wallet it's got some it's got some like important things that I have um and I also have some letters from a pen pal in which I used to have when I was like I think year six I had a pen pal um I think it's because like my stepdad knew her dad and things like that it was really nice having a pen pal and writing to them we were literally like oh my god yeah we're gonna like meet each other and things like that um then I've got a postcard for saying how good I am in what subject history great and then I have this weekly planner which is still in the cellophane and I have not used yet I think I got it for Christmas I'm um, I'm gonna use it I think in year 11 because that's gonna that's gonna be the time where I want to use it most because I'm literally gonna like plan out my life in year 11 like weekly because at the minute like especially the busiest days I think are a Monday and a Wednesday primarily because I have cadets on those days but on the Monday I also have volunteering and I just have loads of commitments and I want to make sure that every day after school I'm doing a little bit of revision and I'm sometimes staying after school doing a bit of practical work and music or photography and things like that um then I've just got my karate certificates from when I did karate in there and then I have oh this is amazing so i've been to see wicked twice um hopefully you're gonna be seeing it again in november um because obviously it's gonna be year 11 then and my exam will be that year we're studying defying gravity for that and oh my god i love wicked so much um so that's that i've also seen the the lovely bones um i went and saw that uh, at the Woolsey theater in ipswich um we watched it for like a mock um in drama well not a mock but it was like a it was for component three which did which um it was component three which was part of the uh live theater evaluation so we went and saw that and just like did loads of work on that evaluation and i've got some other things from like when i've gone to see closer performances and things like that um what's in here oh yeah these are just um like protective like wallet things you put in like binders what are the what's the name I can't even think of a name right now. Honestly, you guys are going to see my bed afterwards and I'm going to cry. Um, then also, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I've got this up here as well. Uh, Shakespeare School Festival I did when I was in year eight. Um, it was actually really nice to do that. We performed King Lear. I still have the recording of that. Look, honestly, I looked so like, I don't know what the word was, but like, I didn't really know anyone there whatsoever. And it was like, first time I've ever done something Shakespearean um, and like, old age and things like that so i really enjoyed that we performed that in the marina theater in lowstoft um which is somewhere where i actually go quite a lot um so yeah so i've also got the program of the performance i did last year with school um obviously covering my school up because yeah so i've got that it was a really good show and i really enjoyed doing it um in here i think i've got more certificates from like over the years and things like when I was in primary school, which are not as important and not important enough to carry my, like, important folder. Um, yeah. Then I have just photography bits and pieces because I've redone my book and, like, bad decision. But because I'm, like, now so behind everyone else, this, this is terrible. Like, my filming is terrible. <laughs> That's a bit better. I should have just had it like that to begin with, like. Anyway, then I have my maths folder, my music folder, soon to be my drama folder. I bought that the other day. <laughs> my, it does say music on here, but that's now my maths folder, which I might actually transfer with drama because I will have less work in drama than I will in music. Anyway, then I've got photography folder, then I've got this cadet folder, and then I've got <laughs> an empty folder here, and then how far can you see up to there? You can see my English folder here, and then I've also got my biology here, physics here, chemistry here. That is that side. Um, yeah, so we're now going to go on to the other side, which is great, great, great. Um, yeah, that's my side. Pretty much folders, mostly that side, and just some bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the other side. So this is the other side of my cupboard here. Um, I have my English language folder here because I have one for English literature and English language, but I will like, this is another dodgy angle, <laughs> but I probably will have to get bigger ones soon because obviously I've got loads and loads of work in them. And then here I've got this lovely notebook, which I'm gonna show you all, which I'm gonna show you guys. 
because I really love this. I swear I just bought it because it looks nice. Like, honestly, I haven't used it yet. Um, it was from WH Smith. It says, go out on a high note, which I really like. So, obviously, I do music and things like that. It's so cute and so nice. Sorry, that look, you would have seen me go that. <laughs> but, yeah, then, as you can see, I've got loads and loads of notebooks in which are unused. Great, well done there. Um, here, as you can see, I've got... Obviously, another old notebook, but here are all my past books. So, like, all my maths books, uh, old English books and things like that, uh, and science. And then here I have one, two, three, four rose gold coppery sort of, like, what are they called? Like, organiser filey things. Um, so, my first one here is history. So, this is all history work here um, with some revision guides. I actually got this one off of... Um, Evie Flynn, um, when she finished her GCSEs, I bought it on her Depop, which was really, really nice, because I got to, like, message her, which was really, really nice. She has a YouTube channel as well, will be linked down below in the description. Really nice. Um, here, then, I have my maths. I have revision guides in here, because all these books wouldn't fit in there, because I have too many books. Um, then I have my English. Here, I have just workbooks for Christmas Carol, um, just English language in gen general, and then my poetry anthology, and then my poetry anthology like revision guide thing i'm doing pound conflict in case you're interested probably not but there you go then i have um some music things another music conference things and just some sciencey bits because i don't have enough work for any of the other subjects to have like an actual like filey thing for themselves literally this this angle was great <laughs> um but yeah that is pretty much my cupboard uh, when i get my timetable next year i'm gonna have it up here and also on there as well like with my old uh, other timetable this is a really dodgy view should we angle it down a bit now that we've spoken all just to let you know the camera is now on top of my desk oh my god did you see that it nearly fell then oh my god um yeah this is a great angle this is this is what you get with my videos um <laughs> but yeah so i think we're pretty much done with that so there you have it guys that is my sort of tour slash showing around of my school stuff and my organization system of like my school work um if you'd like an in-depth video of how i make my notes and like how i technically like how i revise so like my mind maps my flashcards, pretty much everything like that including like my folders and things that has been requested um quite a bit but if you would definitely like to see that be sure to leave that in the comments below because I really would like to film one of them and if you guys would like to um i'll be sure to upload that soon um if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't already and leave a comment as well and i hope to see you guys next week with a brand new video bye